1934, three men robbed the Needham Trust Company, killing two Needham police officers. And although many Needhamites know about the robbery, most people don't know the full details of what happened, and that is until now. Needham Channel volunteer and filmmaker Derek Reisner will be, will be de uh, debuting his documentary, The Miller Fabin Gang, bringing light to the fascinating crime saga. Back on February 2nd, 1934, the Needham Trust Company was robbed by three men, and these three men were the Mill and Faber Gang. Now, most people know about this event. I mean, in Needham, it's like the most well-known historical event throughout the whole town. But uh, a lot of the details sometimes aren't known by people, and even the whole story of the Mill and Faber Gang themselves is relatively unknown. So this documentary basically is not just telling the story of the bank robbery, but of the entire gang's history from beginning to end. I am no more. When you read this, I shall be dead. As dead as any of those men in whose murders I participated. As I write this in my cell, I feel that I am living death. I am physically ill from confinement. My skin is withered. My bones ache. I am torn with the contemplation of the things I have done and the thing that I was. I think for me, what I want people to walk away from this is sort of, A, I think from a historical standpoint, to just realize that there was, there, that the story was so big. And, you know, I think it's wonderful to finally get people to realize that this was not just a simple little robbery in Needham, that this was like something that had such ramifications for the entire state and that this gang, they really existed and they really did all these things. And it wasn't some gang that was out in the Midwest. It was something that was right here in this area. It was back in July of 2010 that I was asked by the executive director of the Needham Channel, Mark Mandel, to produce my own program. And I think his vision at the time was only like a five or 10 minute piece. And I always loved history. And so I went to the Historical Society asking about what's a big event in Needham. And she said, oh, it's the Needham bank robbery. It's the biggest. And so I thought, oh, I'll do that. The uh, archivist, uh, Polly Attridge, was very helpful with me to go through all the, the old documents from the 30s that were um, all about the Mill and Faber gang. I think the one thing that shocked me was there was so much more than just the robbery. I mean, there was all these stories about all these other crimes they committed, all the money they had stolen, all the people they killed. And I think it was then that I started to think about the project as not so much a five to ten minute, you know, a little piece on the robbery, but an entire saga of the gang itself. I think the best part is when you're sitting down and you have all the information you want together and you're editing and you're able to just have it work. You know, because, you know, I think in your mind you can envision what you want it to be, but until you actually have it there on the screen and you're seeing it for the first time, it's like, oh, oh wow, it, it actually is actually finally here. I can actually see it myself, you know, in real time, not just like an image in my brain. We're going to have a special premiere for the documentary here at the Needham Town Hall on February 16th, 2013. It's free and open to the public, and it starts at 3 p.m., I hope everyone who is listening to this is able to come on out and see it, because I know you'll enjoy it.